welcome back to Pagoda One. And I am here with, on my right, John from America. Chantal from South Africa. I'm Sam from England. Together. So, oh, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite things. Me one of too. our favorite things. <laughs> on this whole planet. Alcohol. Yes. Yes. We should have had some here. Why didn't we think of this? Yeah, I, oh, need, yeah. I need some to numb the pain. So we'll talk about kind of famous alcohol, popular alcohol, yeah. kind of what is produced and consumed the most in our home countries. Yes. Something like that. Something like that? Something okay. like that. What's up in the UK? Uh, oh, well, can I talk about UK first? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, the most popular brand of oh, alcohol. Wait. Let me guess. Yeah, guess. Oh, Actually, yeah, have a guess. Brand of alcohol? Brand or brand. Ty type? Brand? brand? Oh, I don't know the brand. Of Guinness? No, no. You, it's not what you think. I'm guessing it's going to be like um, vodka, like a, a, uh -huh. a Grey Goose or something. Right? Oh, 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 you were not Absolute. Right. Absolute. It's, no, no, it's Smirnoff. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Smirnoff. Okay. Which I think is the most consumed. That's actually so the... very high in America too. Yeah, okay, Smirnoff. I mean, South Africans also love you know, Smirnoff. Man, yeah. I love our vodka. Yeah. South Africans like the cheap vodka more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Isn't Smirnoff cheap? In South Africa, there's cheaper vodka. Yeah, we have that stuff as well. So we, when you're a student, it's called that's, moonshine. What you, that's what you go for as a student. Is yeah. cheap it's called kill me quickly. It brings back <laughs> memories. Uh, yeah. oh, or no memories. <laughs> yeah. please, all the forgotten please memories. Please bring back all my killed brain cells. <laughs> I think you can't remember uh, after that bottle. Oh, uh, yeah. But oh. I'm very surprised. Vodka? Yeah, because it's just used as such like a global mixer of things, mm -hmm. you know, uni students, if you're having house parties, things like that. But Smirnoff also make other kinds mm -hmm. of drinks, Yeah, uh, but it's, you know, primarily yeah, they do I don't want to say it's probably people's number one favorite. Mm -hmm. It's just the most kind of more common. commonly used yeah. one. Yeah. yeah, that's where I got into it, the US, is because I was looking it up and I was like, oh, vodka, what? And then I realized mixers. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. just a mixer. So I was like, well, what's the most consumed on its own? Almost impossible to find that data. If it is out there, I it wasn't on the front page of Google. <laughs> I was kind of looking for it, and yeah, beer is real up there. Wine is really up there, mm. but whiskey actually is really up there too. Yeah, for, we have a lot of whiskey there. There are mixed whiskey drinks that people drink a lot, but they also do it straight. Mm. Now, when you're mixing, you're going to be using your more well whiskeys like Evan Williams, Jack Daniels, things like that. But people love their whiskeys. Mm. But what I wanted to point out more than a specific liquor is the mixed drink culture. Mm. It's crazy. In America, cocktails are like the king. Mm. Mm. Your bartenders on average will be very well versed mm. in all these hundreds of different styles. Mm. And they're open too. If you say, hey, can you make this drink for me like this? And they're like, yeah, sure, I'll make you anything. Yeah, yeah. They're super open. They love making new drinks. They're mm. always practicing. Cocktails in the US, I think, might I don't know. I've never had really cocktails in South Africa or UK because yeah. I've never mm -hmm. been there. But I just feel like they put heart and soul into it yeah. like I haven't seen or haven't felt in other places yeah. personally. Yeah, but yeah, cocktails. yeah, cocktails, they're huge in the US. They love them. Yeah. And the, the, the weirder, the better. Just put everything in there. Yeah, I mean, it's seriously. easy to be creative. Yeah, There's yeah. There's so much to go with, yeah. so many types of alcohol and colors and juices uh, you can combine. When I came through. here and I, was, I went to a bartender and I was like, hey, can I have a dry martini? And they're like, that's not on the menu. Uh -huh. I was like, I, so what? Give me a dry martini. Yeah. But they're like, that's not on the menu. And I was like, ah. Uh, it's, oh, many yeah, places. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's getting a lot better though. Mm -hmm. I a lot of the more upscale bars here will do what yeah. you want, but when They've I went to just normal the... bars, it was like menu or nothing, yeah. buddy. Because you it's mean, all they can yeah. make. It's all they know how yeah, to make. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Why. You mean yeah. the upsy downy, wishy washy? Yeah, yeah. Sunrise on a cold night. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys do you guys know that drink? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really good. If you know what it is, you win 1,000 pagoda points. <laughs> 1,000 pagoda points. Isn't that called a thousand? Tomato yeah, potato. Not with, not with pagoda points. <laughs> tomato potato, John. <laughs> tomato <laughs> potato. What's the drinking scene down south? Oh my goodness. I, I might need like half an hour for this. <laughs> Yeah, so, I've still got stuff to talk about. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We, yeah. we'll get back no, to it later. No, no, no. Oh, I have the spirit stick now. <laughs> yeah, here's your spirit stick. Let me just throw that for you. We have quite a big drinking culture, and there really is a variety. People absolutely love their beers. We have two big favorites. It's uh, Carling Black Label 
and then castle. And those are the top two. Was it White Castle? Okay. We've been disqualified. <laughs> We're not even a competition right now. <laughs> People also really, really love the wines. We have yeah, great yeah. wine industry. I'm a yeah. big fan of wine. I absolutely love wine. We have fantastic wine farms and the quality is just superb and the prices are amazing. We actually have a special wine that's only made in South Africa called the Pinotage. Oh, Pinotage. Oh, oh darling. You, you, you have to keep the pinky in yeah. please, please tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> but our wines are fantastic. Mm -hmm. And then we have a, a more traditional um, sorghum beer that is not really sold in restaurants, but I know it's home brewed. What's so. It uh, what is it called, Chanta? Very difficult to say. I'm going to try my best. Please don't kill me in the comments. It's um pom booty. I can't. I'm struggling with a click sound. Um pom booty. Oh, okay, good effort. Um pom booty. <laughs> Keep on going. Right. We'll, we'll use the best one. Um pom booty. Mm. You need the click, okay? Mm, yeah. To do it right. Mm. My clicks are terrible. Mm, com. Where, where, I'm saying where, that. Where's that? Mm. Com booty. Com booty. <laughs> I can't even do the click. I was mm, waiting for it. Uh, you were like, oh. how do you? How do you do the click? Like, but how do you like do it while talking? Um, talking. <laughs> That's the thing, it's very difficult. Um, 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 booty. Or um, um, booty. Um, but... um, um, booty. <laughs> I sound like a walrus. <laughs> um, um, booty. Another one for lots of guys is Brandy and Coke. Oh. The popular brand is Clip Drift and it's called Clippies and Coke. That's another oh. popular one. And um, we always, what do we call it? We call it a karate drink or something. A like karate drink? Because the guys like fighting after drinking. Like a karate drink. It's something that makes them a little aggressive. <laughs> yeah. I do want to like loop around back to me because I am very... Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> we'll get there after me. <laughs> okay. Can I ask a question? Yeah. When you guys were going to drink at, at co in college, mm. were you going out or were you doing house parties? Both. Both. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> they well, my house was the party house. What? what? No, really? <laughs> so my mom it was terrible. Come home some afternoons with like a house full of not drunk, just very happy <sighs> early twenty year olds. How, how many times did you wake up with strangers in your house? Yeah. Oh, that did happen with friends, but my mom, she'd like oh, start okay. cooking food for everyone. Oh, nice. Oh, it's your house house, your family house. Yeah. yeah. Oh, mine was like separate. No. I, I, li I lived in. The house next to the campus. We have yeah. police around all of uh, oh, it's terrible. I have to like just give my parents credit. Yeah, like mommy and daddy, you guys are the awesome. Can you imagine cooking stuff for a bunch of hammered people? Really? Like, oh. But everyone knew. My dad on the weekends, he's like they chilling with the people, talking with them, and everyone loved them. So it's like the best memories ever. <laughs> my best, but mine are some of the worst. <laughs> Going back to the kind of alcohol that everyone enjoys. It's such a yeah. safe answer, but just beer. Beer has yeah. to be. Yeah. Yeah. I consume so much, you know, just the culture of going down the pub, yeah. having a beer, yeah. having a pint. Yeah. That's what I was thinking, and then mm. you said vodka, I was like, what? Yeah, what? I think beer is like tea in the UK. Maybe, maybe it's more than that. <laughs> it's, it's the nighttime yeah, tea. Yeah, yeah, basically, it basically <laughs> is. I mean, I'm not too sure of my stats, yeah. somebody please correct me, but you've got yeah. beer, you've got your, like, your Baileys, you've got your rum. What uh, about gin? Gin, gin, of course, oh, yeah. gin. South Africans actually started getting on the gin train. Like, we've got a few very yeah. good local gin makers now. Hendrix. Oh, I like Hendrix. Oh, Hendrix is a good one. Now, in the US, beer is also a big thing, but I feel like the craft beer culture is it's like big. taking yeah. over everything it's very trendy yeah. very trendy and maybe it was where i live because i live near fort collins and fort collins and that area they produce hundreds yeah probably hundreds of different of styles of local beer mm. that you can find in the stores at in colorado only pretty much that was just a huge thing people love their specialty beers mm. but with all this talk about drinking how do you guys deal with the next day I have another drink. I'm with Sam on that Really? One. Are you oh, serious? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't leave me no, no, hanging. Sorry, sorry. I thought, I thought this was your hair of the dog. I, I thought he was giving an example. Are you guys so, are serious? Yeah. Not when I'm working, but oh, on no. the weekends. So, yeah, I'm just hair of the dog, guys, for the, for the audience. The next day when you're hungover, you are dying, and you just follow up with more alcohol. Yeah, you basically <laughs> drink more. Because Get, your body needs alcohol, that's why you're dying. <laughs> So yeah, you're, just helping your you're body. feeding your addiction. <laughs> Are you shocked? The reason is because the next day, and probably the next next day, mm. if I think about alcohol, I want to vomit. But that's what you're thinking. Yeah. But the moment you take a sip of no. something sweet, it needs to be a nice yeah, tasty yeah, yeah. one, then your I body immediately yeah. is like... <laughs> 
Oh, Bloody Mary is good because oh, it's just mixed gosh. with so many things. I don't need Bloody Mary, I need a mimosa. Oh just, my god, it's so <laughs> harsh. <laughs> I need my brunch mimosa <laughs> with my pinotage. <laughs> it's actually quite true. <laughs> do, do either of you two have like a hangover food? Because for me it's like See, doner, doner kebab. So yeah, to, to some eat. sort of like greasier food I need, is what you're saying. Mine I is greasy. greasy. Either fried greasy. chicken or a cheese hamburger. Oh my gosh. Because in Korea we, we have like hangover soups, but for me, mm. more liquid in the uh, in, in the <laughs> what this swimming pool the aquarium me. in the aquarium oh, of alcohol, alcohol uh -huh. it does not make me feel that good yeah. to be honest. It's like Koreans always tell me, oh, you have to have like mm. Heijungguk or Gongnamu something yeah. soup. I've tried all of them and it made me feel even worse. Mm. But for me, it needs to be greasy. What about in South Africa and UK in Same. general? People will eat greasier yeah. or a greasy hairy breakfast. Or... Hair of okay. the dog. Pizza. Some people like pizza. Yeah, I like cold, yeah. specifically cold pizza. Yeah. What about you? I'm, Why are you so shocked? Yeah. I'm completely opposite. Like, my hangover cure is like seven pills of ibuprofen. And try, and try <laughs> toast. <laughs> yeah, it's simple. Something very simple. An egg. Dry toast. Something very simple. Mm. But that's very greasy food. That's going to make me feel worse. It makes me feel like I'm recovering. Okay. It, I want happy yeah. food when I'm hungry. Yeah. But I definitely cannot eat greasy food. Like if oh, I even really? think about greasy food, I want to vomit. Like, but I would say in the US it's similar to you guys. Like a lot of people will eat greasy food. Hair of the dog, I tell me in the comments below. I I, I never had friends who did hair of the dog. I but, don't think all South Africans yeah. do hair it's of the dog. Not, though. It's not oh, it's, it's, it's enough for you to yes. realize that it's there. Yeah. 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 I think in America it's mostly about eating or medicine. I think medication's a big one. People will pop those pills immediately in the morning. We don't take pills the next day. We go back we down to the pub. Jump we down just, back into it and like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> take and then, this day. And then the whole next week at work, we're like, oh, I want to kill myself. <laughs> I know we listed our, well, we didn't list our coals that are common in our home countries. There's there's too many to list in yeah. England. <laughs> like, there really is. South Africans love drinking, so oh, these sorry. I mentioned are just a few. Nice. Let's wrap it up. We could talk about this for hours. I know. But we, we need to wrap it up. And we have like so much to st I have like That's a ton on my list still. Right, <laughs> yeah. me too. Yeah. So. Thank you for watching everyone. Um, I hope you've kind of learned something about our drinking culture. But and if you're yeah. old enough, I hope you were drinking along with us. Drink responsibly. All the South African wine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get that pinotage. <laughs> oh, that drink. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Please don't forget to like, uh, comment, <laughs> <laughs> subscribe, press, press the ding dong button. Too. And the ding dong. Bye. <laughs> Bye, everyone. See you next time.